Hi guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, coming on today with, again, with part three of the desktop memory deck stand with drawer tutorial. Because we're professionals and parts one and two took an hour um, or so each to uh, complete, um, and I only have a little bit of storage on my phone so I have to you know do a video less than an hour upload it and then delete it from my phone and then I can record the next part <laughs> it's so wonderful just let me tell you so this is the original that I made um, as you can see it has the little paper straws to hold memory decks cards on top it has a pulled out drawer it has the little metal feet. Um, I recommended, I've recommended that you don't even have to make the third level, let alone add the metal feet, because this will sit flat on your desk ju just with the 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 top and um, middle parts. Um, I even I want to suggest that if you don't want to fuss with the brads like I did in part two. You can um, find a glue that works with metal and paper and glue those bad boys on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this one to the side. Uh, disclaimer before we get started, my daughter Reagan will be home in, from school in about 15 minutes. So she may or may not make an appearance. She might be loud coming in because she usually is. <laughs> um, but like I said, we're professionals here. Um... We just got to go with the flow. Um, so what we're going to do first. No, 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 no. I lied. Okay. So in part two, I mentioned that I'm going to give this away. I'm going to hold a giveaway. And um, not only the sand, though, I'm going to fill it with um, pre-made plain to be decorated um memory decks cards and different si like shapes and sizes um that way you'll have all kinds of bases um to play with and then i'm also going to fill the drawer with some maybe handmade maybe store-bought maybe both goodies um not sure exactly what i'm going to put in it yet but it will be worth it and um all you have to do to enter is be 18 years or older because that's a youtube rule um, be, so, be a subscriber, please, and then comment on the second or the third video, enter me into the giveaway chat, uh, contest, and if you want a second entry, you can do a VR just to let people know, um, about my tutorial, my channel, and that I'm giving, I'm doing a giveaway. I'd really appreciate it, and hopefully maybe I'll get some more subscribers. That would be awesome. So, now let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is add the drawer pool. We've already matted all the outside um, pieces. We're going to go ahead and take the drawer out. This part's pretty simple. Um, you, if you want to measure, you know, measure it and find the middle you go right ahead I on the other hand am going to eyeball it that's what I've been doing find the middle here and then with my pencil I'm gonna mark where these holes are so I have a good idea then I'm going to take my thicker pokey tool it's got like quite a thick point on it and I'm just going to watch my fingers <laughs> and push it through to make a little hole for the brat just like that and there's the second one um you can erase your little pencil marks. And then we're going to place that on there. Grab one of your 
matching brads. I went over that in, in part one and two, uh, where to get these pieces from Hobby Lobby. The uh, wood section has the the feet and the drawer pulls, and in the paper section, you can get the tiny brads. And they don't match absolutely perfectly, but I think it's close enough, and it look it looks cute. So you put your brad through, and then you just open open it up, line that second hole back up. You put your second brad through. This this part is so much easier than those feet. Those feet were about to be the death of me. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to take my double sided tape. This one is three eighths of an inch, but you could use half an inch. It would work just just as well. And I'm just going to cover up the brads with that, with a double sided tape. That way it helps them stay secure and they're not going to go anywhere. Just, uh, you know, push that down and then you can take the backing of the tape off. Don't, don't take the backing of the tape off until you have your mat. I suggest matting um, at least the inside of the front of the drawer so that you don't see this. Um, you need a... Where did it go? Where did it go? That's not it. Hold on, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't find it. Okay, well, let's cut it real quick. <laughs> we are professionals. Where's my trimmer? What I do with it? How does one lose their paper trimmer? I do this all the time. Here's this one, my Fiskars anyways, this one will work for now. So um, for the inside of your drawer, let's measure it real quick, because I had this all cut out, but I lost the piece, oops. So we're going to say that the inside of the drawer is four and three fourths by seven eighths, okay? So cut yourself a little piece of four and three-fourths by seven-eighths. Like I said, um, I am gonna go ahead and map the entire inside of the drawer. I did not do it on my first one, on the first one that I made, because I'm keeping that one for my own desk. But for the one that I made for a swap and for this one that I'm going to give away, I will take the extra time to map the, in, the entire side of the box, inside of the box, because it looks nicer. You at home making this for yourself, of course, don't have to. I do have the rest of my matting pieces prepared. Let me move this guy out of the way. And I see there's only one of them here. I don't know where the other one went. But this one is four and three fourths by seven eighths for the other end of the drawer. You need two that are seven eighths by seven and three fourths. And then, or seven and a half 
seven and a half I guess sorry <laughs> and then for the bottom piece you need um, four and three-fourths by seven and a half and that'll be the bottom piece so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my glue yeah, see seven and a half and glue it there on the side I wrote that wrong three-fourths <laughs> Seven and three fourths, but it is seven and a half. Oops. Just smooth that down. I suppose you could do the bottom first if you wanted, it doesn't really matter. And there we go. We have a nice lined drawer. We can put that back in there. And we're on the last part, guys. I'm so excited. I hope you are too. What you need for this part are the two little straw enders that we made in part one you need mats for these guys they are four and three fourths by seven no that's not right by seven eighths <laughs> let me fix that I must have had something else in my head yeah see seven eighths by four and three fourths and that'll fit on there just like that. So let's go ahead and do this part first. What you're going to do is glue. Add your glue. Add your matting piece. Line it up there. And you're going to get your crocodile back out. Excuse me. And we are going to punch the holes that already exist just through the, the matting piece. Turn it around so you can see what you're doing. And just punch those holes. Like so. Oops. Um, I always do two, sometimes three, just depending on, you know, what you need to get that, um, get that straw through or you just need to get the draw the straw to sit in there um now they look messy but that's okay because the straw is going to cover that up and you're not going to see it so there's the first one you take your other piece that's four and three fourths by seven eighths and do the same thing glue it on Line it up there so there's just a little white showing on all four sides. About an eighth of an inch. Turn it around, punch your holes. Reagan um, will be home in a few minutes, and maybe now, maybe in a few minutes. Just a forewarning. She usually gets home at 3.45. And she's home. Hey, Reagan. Oh, Fred. Okay. I'm recording my part three of my video, just so you know. Right in the middle of it. Okay, so um, now just add glue to the side that you didn't mat. And you're going to put the, the side with the holes towards the bottom. Like so, and you just want to hold that together until the glue dries. 
early arts doesn't take very long usually. I'm going to go ahead and take my longer pieces and add them to the sides. So you need a piece that is seven, you need two pieces of seven and five eighths by seven eighths. Like so. You could do seven and five eighths, or you could do seven and a half, but I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> Either one will fit. There we go. I'm just trying to get some of that glue, those glue particles out of there. And now I'm going to glue on the other end piece to the front, like so. So you can see a different angle, like that. And then of course you want to add your bottom piece before you add your straws. So the bottom piece is 7 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. And we'll just double check and make sure that fits. So look, it needs to be a little bit shorter, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to seven and a half. It's only, it's only one eighth of an inch off. But we want it to fit nice, right? Let's double check that. And there we go. That fits perfect. So don't listen to that first one. You want it to be seven and a half by four and seven eighths. And that fits perfectly. Just add your glue and set it down. dried glue on my fingers <laughs> there we go okay as for the paper straws I know you can I know they're um, I know you can get them at Dollar Tree um, pretty much any time of year these were from the springtime they came out But I wanted gold foiled ones, so I ordered these on Amazon. Um, and what we do, and just do one at a time, okay? You're going to need your hot glue. Oh no, my hot glue gun came unplugged. Well, of course it did, because I'm recording a video, a tutorial. So, we need to, I don't have anything else to do. This is the last part, guys. Hopefully it won't take long. But what you're going to do is... Add your hot glue, a dollop of it there in, pretend it's hot glue, okay? Into that um, hole, and then you're going to put your straw there and hold it there until it dries. Just putting some pressure in it. Then um, you're going to make sure that it's not, the other side isn't against the hole. You're going to add your dollop of hot glue. <laughs> and that was my hot glue zone. It just fell. And then you're going to carefully maneuver that over the hole. And while that glue cures, I like to hold the ends like this. So that it gets a good stick. I suppose if you just don't have a hot glue then this will work it'll just take longer to dry and 
and I'm just doing this for the tutorial for before I give this away to the winner I will hot glue it so that it does not come out so there's that one I'm going to add my glue to the second hole line my straw up and like I said I like to put pressure on both ends while the hot glue is drying like so and there we have it guys there's your memory dex card your desktop memory dex card stand with drawer i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i know it was frustrating at times i apologize um <laughs> um thank you for watching i really appreciate all the support and the love for this design i came up with um and i hope you enjoy making it if you have any questions please feel free to contact me either in the comments down below or you can message me on instagram on instagram i'm also at your crafty bff um with the underscores and all that um i think that's it guys um Thank, again, thanks for watching. Don't feel, you know, uh, don't hesitate to contact me if you run into any problems, and I will try to help you out over messaging. And Reagan just <laughs> is walking through the door. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, like I said, you can, um, must be 18 years or older, be my subscriber. Um, comment on the second or third video of this tutorial enter me and for a second entry you can do a vr just to let everyone know i'm doing this giveaway thanks so much i appreciate your support have a great day bye